Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve a compound inequality with and. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. Now you've seen inequalities before, but this is a little different one. We have two here. We're given this problem here. We want to solve 6x minus 3 is less than 9 and 2x plus 9 is greater than or equal to 3. We're going to graph the solution and write the solution in interval notation. So first let's go solve each one of these inequalities individually. Let's start with the 6x minus 3 is less than 9. Well I first just want to add a 3 to both sides and I have a 6x here is less than 9 plus 3 is a good old 12. Then from there, we divide both sides by 6. Not too bad. x is less than 12 divided by 6, which is 2. Let's start with the second one now. We have 2x plus 9 is greater than or equal to 3. We're going to divide, or sorry, not divide, subtract a 9 to both sides here. Same steps as always, really. 2x here is greater than or equal to 3 minus 9 is a negative 6. From there, we divide both sides by 2. And we have x here is greater than or equal to negative 6 divided by 2 is a negative 3. So now what I'm going to do is actually kind of graph each one of these individually and see where they line up. So I'm going to take a number line. This is kind of the way I like to do it. Now you can draw two different number lines, but since writing on this, I like to put my inequalities above the graph itself, window above and below here. So let's start with 0 here in the middle. We got 1. 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. We'll start with x is less than 2. If I want to graph that, I start at 2, and I put an open circle there at 2 because it's not equal to 2, it's just less than 2. So I put an open circle here at 2, and since x is less than 2, I put the arrow to the left. Now let's look at this one here. X is greater than or equal to negative 3. So I start at negative 3 here, and since it's equal to negative 3, I have a closed circle. From there, X is greater than or equal to, right, but the greater than we care about here, the negative 3, arrow goes to the right. So we can write this actually as one graph. Let's do it here. So let's rewrite my graph here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 4. We want to combine where these two graphs overlap, where they are the same. Well, we have negative 3, we start with the left here. We have a closed circle there, and it also exists here um, in the first equation, or the inequality, x is less than 2. So it satisfies both of them, so we put a little dot there. The other end we see was at zero, uh, 2 here, we have an open circle, we do that as well, it's open. So we want to see where it's true for both of these lines. And now it's true everywhere in between. If you look outside of our range here, or domain, if you will, a value of positive 3 works for the second inequality, but not the first one. Same thing with negative 4. Works for the first inequality, but not the second. We want to see where both inequalities they are true for. So now we can write this in interval notation. We have, on the left bound, lower bound, negative 3, and it can equal negative 3, so we have a bracket. It goes all the way up to positive 2, but we don't equal positive 2, so we have a parenthesis. And there we have our answer. We've graphed our inequality, and we've written the solution in interval notation. I hope you learned something here on how to solve a compound inequality with and. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, Thanks for watching.